The team's day concluded at the 2018 Redskins Pride Caucus Rally, where Larry Michael caught up with Virginia State Senator Chap Peterson and 1987 replacement quarterback Tony Robinson. Chap, another Redskins Caucus reception here. What does it mean to this community? What does it mean to the Commonwealth of Virginia to have the Redskins in town? Well, Larry, we love the Redskins. Obviously, we do this every year. We want to celebrate the team. They're the only professional sports team located in Virginia, and they have a huge following in Richmond, a huge following downstate. Of course, I'm a Fairfax City boy, but uh, love to have them in town, love to support them. All right, I'm going to put you in the fan seat for a second. Sure. What do the Redskins have to do in free agency in the draft to become a Super Bowl contender? I think we need to get a little bit bigger on the defensive line, a little bit meaner. Um, I'd like to see us uh, draft some interior defense alignment. I think we need a really a first class running back. I think we've got some good backs, but we need someone who's a first round, you know, first first down running back. And we need a wide receiver who can catch 80, 90 balls. You know, a pretty good football fan here, Chad Peterson. Hey, listen, we've got some of the replacement players here, and it's a special night for them and a special day on the floor today right. uh, with what happened. Could you speak on that? Because it gave me some goosebumps, really. Well, it's a great moment in Redskins history and really in sports history. 1987, you had the strike year. Of course, the Redskins players stayed unified under Coach Joe Gibbs. And so they had the replacement players that came in that last game against Dallas. The strike was over, but the team hadn't come back yet. So the replacements went up against Dallas, went up against the regular players. I really, Larry, I analogize it to the 1980 U.S. Soviet Union hockey game where you had a team of underdogs, likable guys, guys that weren't necessarily going to go on and make a living at this, that went out and stunned the world. And it was a great story. A lot of them went on to careers, doing other things. And to have them back and celebrate the 30th anniversary, it was meaningful to ordinary guys like me who play sports. Well, you know, uh, hats off to you with the Redskins caucus down here. Uh, you are a big supporter of the Redskins. We thank you so much. Hail to the Redskins, Larry. Let's go in 2018. On the floor of the state Senate, they had a proclamation about the replacement players. You were the quarterback of that team. Tell me how you felt when they made that proclamation. Oh man, I feel great. It was a uh, wonderful, uh, wonderful, uh, wonderful thing they've done for us. You know, uh, finally recognizing that team. You know, I think we had a pretty good team back then, and uh, it just shows, you know, that when you do something good, you know, people do recognize you and everything. It took a while, but the day is, is a great day. Tony, I know your background. I know what you went through. What did that replacement team mean for you? It seems to me that that period of your life might have turned your life around. Well, uh, it meant it meant to me that I get a chance to play some more football, okay, and uh, which I, I love the game of football. So uh, it gave me a chance to showcase my talent again that I could I could play in the NFL. You know, uh, only thing I wish I could have played a little bit longer, but uh, you know it is what it is. But hey, I, I got a chance to play and uh, won some important games for the Redskins. And uh, hey, Super Bowl winners, man, what can you do? The team wouldn't have been there without you guys winning those ball games. And again, talking about you personally. What are you doing now, and what did that time with the Redskins mean to you in your life at that point in your life? Well, you know, uh, to me, it was a dream come true. You know, I got a chance to play in the NFL. And uh, it's something that no one can take away from me because, I was, you know, you can see it on film. But uh, it also meant that, uh, you know, there's something I can show my kids and my, my nephews, my nieces, and all of them a family and everything, my friends, so uh, it was a wonderful experience for me, and I enjoyed it to the utmost, man. And, uh, and you know, right now I'm living in Knoxville, Tennessee, and uh, I'm a painter, I'm a paint, on paint business, and uh, I TV show, radio show there, and also uh, I, work, I work with quarterbacks individually, personally, so uh, I'm doing something I like to do, still on the football field a little bit, so, uh, and I, I just, I love training quarterbacks, you know, it's, just, it's a, it's a, it's a, a very fascinating art playing quarterback. I know that following your college career and knowing what happened to you and knowing what happened to you as a replacement player, do you feel redemption? That this is a story of redemption for Tony Robinson? Because you know what? Uh, if you hadn't been part of that re uh, replacement team, uh, well, obviously we wouldn't be here talking about you right now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I, I don't, I don't think I would say redemption. I would say. Uh, uh, the good, the good Lord was looking out for me. You know, He took care of me and everything. Uh, my mom always preached patience, 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 and you know, I'm a, I'm a very patient kind of guy. And uh, and you know, it, you know, uh, my mom says, uh, whatever the good Lord has in store for you, no one can take it away from you. So uh, you know, I'm, 
I'm just blessed to be here. The day had already been special for all involved, but Bruce Allen kept the biggest surprise for last. Together with the people from 3030, the people who produced this, and Barron's Rings, guess what you guys are going to get this spring? Oh. Hey! are going to be getting rings. On behalf of the Washington Redskins, your teammates, and the NFL.